Welcome back guys. There's a lot of excitement here in Kerbal Land. Um, the, the guys have just taken delivery of the Rocco Max custom built Doco Max Classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and we've got to assemble it and get it up into orbit. So what the hell is it? Well, let me show you. Okay, now this is intended to inspire you guys because the ideas that I've been getting for modules, I've got to, you know, I've got to admit, like some of you are just saying like, a refueling module. Come on, I want more than that. I want details. I want exciting stuff. So I'm going to try and inspire you. Right. We are going to send up uh, a little robot ship. So we're going to use uh, a pro. <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> we're going to send one of these probes up. So uh, what are we going to put on this so that it'll fly and, and do what it needs to do? Well, it needs some power. So let's go to utility. We'll take uh, one of these 200 rechargeable batteries, pop that on the top, and we'll take, um, I don't know, like a couple of voltage panels. That's just like a couple of those is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, we could have, like, you could have done it with one, but we'll put two on just to be nice. And then we're going to put a Clampatron docking port on the bottom of that. And you'll be going, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> Which is a very good point. Right, let's pop that over, but you'll see, you'll see, it'll all become clear. Right, should we move this up a little bit? Because we're going to need to. Then, the um, the clamp, <laughs> sorry, the Do Doco Max Classic. <laughs> this, you're going to like this, guys. We're going to go to structural. Now, the, the idea of this is um, to create a, a docking hub that we can plug loads of other stuff onto. So we're gonna take a structural fuselage. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna copy that and put another one on and copy that and put another one on. Right, then we're gonna take one more and we're gonna have some symmetry going on. How many are we gonna have? I'll tell you what, we're gonna have eight of these babies. Right, I'm gonna zoom in a bit because I wanna get this lined up nicely about there. That will do. Pig. Right, cool. Having got that, and you're probably going, what the hell is he building? Well, we're going to take, uh, where is it? Utility. We're going to take a Clampatron docking port, and we're going to put like a whole load of these Clampatron docking ports on. Can you see where I'm going with this? Now, there are, I'm actually thinking about putting two of these uh, one on each end of the space station, and yeah, you know, I'm I'm actually I'm I'm kind of second guessing myself at the moment about these sections and thinking maybe we should put something a little bit beefier on, but I don't know I don't know I I kind of like the elegance of the slim architecture, you know what we'll go with this and it is what it is, <clears throat> right so let's go to aerodynamics because um. We want to aerodynamicize this, not because it needs to be aerodynamic, but because it needs to look cool. So we're going to take uh, a bunch of those and put those on there, and we're going to take a bunch of these and put them on the bottom. But in order to put them on the bottom, we need to spin it over, and boom, right. Ho, 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 ho. Starting to look like something now, isn't it? Right, well, it's going to get even better. We're going to take some lights. Let's get some lights on this, because I don't think our space station has anywhere near enough lights on it. And I'm going to put the lights on. Now, I could put the lights, like, really close to the uh, to the docking ports, but I'm actually going to set them back on these, uh, on these kind of cones, because I think they look kind of cool there. So we'll put, like, those there. Right, there we go. And then we want a bunch of these. Now, I'm going to have to flip these over, like that. And uh, we want to set them... Oh, flip them over again uh, we want to set them about kind of sort of there-ish right so this will be lit up like a Christmas tree now you know why we need so many solar panels <laughs> oh yeah uh, is that enough uh, hell no hell no we want more we want more where's um, where, I've lost them here we go uh, we're gonna have, um, but not eight. That would be kind of silly. But we're gonna go for another four placed 
Now let me line this up correctly. Placed about here. And we'll turn them around so that they're pointing outwards. And I, I'm, I'm thinking kind of kind of there-ish. Cool. And then we'll copy that and we'll do the same on the other end. But we'll reduce this to four again, flip them over, bom bom. And so this is going to be fairly well lit. I think you'll I think you'll find when we get up there. Which will be very, very cool. Okay. How are we going to finish this off? We're going to pop a, a clampertron on the bottom. Oh, there we go. And that is the module that we're taking up. So as you can see, all it is, is it's completely structural. So that is the module we're putting up. What, what a thing. Now you're probably thinking, like, what the hell are you going to do with that? Well, look, okay, let me show you. What we're going to be able to do is do things like a really staggering habitat. Now, you guys, like, if you come up with something better than this, a better idea than this, then I'm willing to go go with it. But it's going to be something along the lines of we take one of these, pop it on the bottom, and then we take a cupola from the pods, which has got all the nice windows on it, and we want to flip that over. That way, right. and then what we're going to be able to do now this will be this won't look quite right because um, I'd need to put the docking ports and stuff on it. Now, if I flip this over this way, right, and we set the symmetry to eight. Now, if I send up eight of oh, these, there we go, there we go, like that. So each of the crew can have their own habitat with loads of windows. Now, come on, how cool would the space station look with that plugged on it? Right? Now, that's, that's one idea. The other idea uh, would be for uh, a refueling station. And what we would send up would be something along the lines of this. So, where's our fuel tanks? So, we'd get something like a, I don't know, like a, either a, either a 400, I'm thinking a 400. 400 maybe an 800 and then we put uh, where's aerodynamics and we oh no it's not structural what am I doing structural and then a rocker max brand adapter popped on there and then one of the big fuel tanks so like one of these okay and then we take this we flip this around and what happens is you'd have ships bring these up and just, you know, plug them in like that. Let me let me put it on there. So, so. so they would just, whoops. Let's try coming out a bit so we can actually see this. Um, so they would just bring them up and the tug would just plug them on, right? And there you go. Now imagine that up there. How cool would that be? Right, but it all depends on us getting this first <laughs> Doco Max Classic up there. Now this is a this is a pretty weird load, and this, this that's what this episode's really about. It's how do you get like weird loads up there? If you stick this on top of a just stick this on top of a rocket, right? You're probably not going to get very far, unless you like stick a million struts on it, and it's all going to look horrible and not be very nice. And we don't want that. We want our stuff to be really cool. So, what are we going to do? Well, we um, we've got a, a thing to pilot this, right? So, and it's and it's powered up, and that can get us there. But we need uh, a, a little engine thing to kind of get us there, right? Well, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take a uh, uh, what do I want? A structural? No, utility. Bun it. We're going to take a, a clampertron and put it on the bottom, right? Cool. Then we're going to take a fairing, and we're going to take one of these big fairings because this is going to be pretty big. So we'll put this big fairing on here. Now, this fairing needs to be brought out until it just about clears the lights. So out maybe there. Then hopefully 
take this up. Yeah, we, I think we've cleared it now. So about there. And then we take it up to, to just clear that. Oops, there we go. There we go. And we've got our, our fairing to contain our little module. Now, I, let me just show you this because these fairings are heavy. If we go down to here to our engineer's report, this weighs 2.6 tons, right? this part weighs 2.6 tons. When we add the fairing, which I've got to do again, Hang on, let me. About there, there, there. Right. Now it weighs 6.7 tons. These fairings are very, very heavy, but they solve like a ton of structural problems. So they're actually quite good to use. Okay, so uh, that's that bit. Now we're going to need uh, a fuel tank. And I'm thinking we'll probably put something like a, a, an X200 and then we'll put just a little, because once we ditch this fairing, this is going to be pretty light. So we're only going to need a little engine on this. So we'll put a little Terrier engine on. There we go. And then we'll want a, uh, a decoupler. So let's put a, uh, a Rocker Max decoupler on there. Cool. We will need some struts on that. So let's whack some struts on, struts on that. We'll shift X, go down, whack some struts on there, try and get them straight if I can. There we go. That should keep it nice and stable. Okay, so we've got a little thing to deliver us into space once, once we get up there. So then all we've got to do is get up there. Now I think we're going to need a little bit more fuel and we're going to need a little bit more height clearance because we've got to clear the booster rockets. So I'm going to add on another X200 there. There we go. Right, and then we go to the enhanced menu and our sub-assemblies and we get a bonehead heavy and we plug that on the bottom and there we go. That is what's going to deliver this payload into space. Pretty cool, isn't it? Right, I'm just gonna double check and make sure that I've got all the bits and pieces. I think I have. Okay, so I've uh, sorted out my staging and uh, done a final check on this. And as always, <laughs> I find things that I've forgotten. A uh, Couple of things, very tiny little things, just up here. Uh, I've missed a, a docking clamp here. So we need to take this off. And well, let's go structural, no, sorry utility and we need to put a docking clamp on there but th there's one other thing I've missed which is an inline reaction wheel otherwise this thing would be like horrible to try and steer so I need uh, command and control and uh, here we go advanced inline stabler stabilizer we just need a little one um, so a little one than that that's a small that's a small you know I think I must admit, I'm kind of tempted to just go with a, a small one. You know what? I think we'll just go with a small one. Don't think we need anything more than that, because this isn't a very big craft. So we'll just take a little one of those, if I can get that back on. There we go. And then plug that back on. And we're ready. Oh, I, I can't wait to uh, get this up in the air. This is going to be very, very cool. Okay, let's launch it. Okay, now we need to check where the BISS is before we lift off. And the BISS is just over here. We're here, the Docker Max Classic. And we need this to be probably a, like, yeah, probably around here before we, uh, before we lift off. Let's get our hood up and we'll just warp forward until it's in the right place. We probably want it kind of just mid-ocean. I think a little bit more yeah about there would be good I think right now uh, this thing is is not particularly stable let's turn SAS on thrust us to max let's lift off 
So you want to keep this pretty much straight up uh, until you get rid of the boosters and, uh, and then it should settle down and be okay. But while it's in the atmosphere this isn't going to behave particularly well. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll turn it over a few degrees just to get us started. And I'll do the same thing as I've done on, on previous missions. So once we get up to about 100, 120 meters per second, I'll throttle back on the uh, on the main engines. So we're coming up on 100 meters per second now. Right, let's just throttle back on the main engines. And then this should be um, a pretty standard flight. We're almost through our first set of boosters. We'll get ready to jettison those any second now. There they go. I've just realized I forgot to put struts on the top. <laughs> oh, oh, hold together, baby, hold together. Our second set of boosters are almost exhausted, so I'm going to up the main engines and jettison now. Okay, we'll turn off the, uh, the temperature gauges. Right, now we're just gonna ease this over towards 45 degrees. Just gently. This is um, a little bit temperamental. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, let's get her back on track. Get her over to 45 degrees. There we go. Now she's settling down. And once you pass 35,000, uh, we can deploy our uh, protective shield. We don't need that. So here we go, we're coming up on 35,000, and let's get rid of that. There we go. And we expose <laughs> our strange, weird little module. Okay, let's check on our uh, apoapsis. We want to get this up to around 80,000, something, something like that. Correct a little bit of roll we've got going on. Here we are, we're coming up to 75, 80, right, let's kill the engines. We'll put in a maneuver node, which I haven't put in particularly well, there we go. And then it's just a, a straight burn to get us into an orbit. Okay, we're just about to complete the burn. We've got 10 seconds left, I think we're going to run out of fuel any second. Six, five, four, three. Oh, that's kind of perfect timing. Let's kick that in and we'll do the last little adjustment manually. So, whereas our apoapsis is at 81, here comes our periapsis, which I'll click on so that we can actually see it. There we go. And we'll keep going. I'm going to try and track our maneuver icon if I can. No, you know what? I'll correct that later. What are we up to? 80 and 97. Actually, that's not too bad. We've got a, a slight axis tilt, which I'll need to correct. So, yeah, we can now get rid of this maneuver node. And we can set our target to the, uh, to the BISS. Here it is. And it's just in front of us, which is perfect, because we're in a lower orbit. And we're just going to catch this up. And we can see that at our next intersect, we're only 194 kilometers away. So, uh, yeah, all we need to do is uh, catch it up and dock with it. So I've cancelled out our axis tilt with uh, just a little burn at the, uh, at the descending node. So we're nicely aligned. And we're 123 kilometers at the next intersect. Let's see what it changes to when we pass it. We're catching up nice and quick. Oh, only 50 kilometers. So what we'll do is at our periapsis, actually, no, at the apoapsis, we're going to increase our altitude just a little bit because we're catching up nice and fast and we're gonna we're gonna almost catch it we're only 50 kilometers behind so at the apoapsis 
will uh, will slow down. So let's slow down here, and we'll uh, we'll change this because the the BISS has a pretty circular orbit orbit now of uh, ninety six thousand. I I uh, I went in and, and changed the orbit to a nice stable orbit uh, with the tug. And now all we need to do is get into a similar orbit. So currently we are uh, our periapsis. Whoops, our periapsis. Where is our periapsis? Over here. Our periapsis is at eighty thousand. Our apoapsis is at 90, uh, ninety-seven, which is good. But we need to just raise that. So it'll just be a straight prograde burn. Just bring that up. Now that's too far. 87 that should put us in a good place actually right yeah okay that will do that will do so here we come this is just a one second burn so I'm actually gonna do this at probably 50 percent there we go that'll do nicely so what's our periapsis now so our periapsis is 87 our apoapsis is 97 so we should just be very slowly catching up well it's looking very good now here we are we're, we're just in front of the BISS and uh, in a slightly higher orbit just fractionally higher orbit and our next intersect will only be 1.2 kilometers away which is pretty perfect so you know what let's warp around to that so we're approaching our closest point and the BISS is just 1.3 kilometers away so we're, what we're going to do now we're going to do a retrograde burn let's just get nicely lined up and cancel out this speed difference which shouldn't take very much we're very very well matched oh, I'm just going to just gonna adjust and stay with that retrograde icon. A little bit more. Just cancel that out. Well, okay, point one. That's close enough. And then we'll spin around to our pink prograde icon. You know this by now. Where's our pink prograde icon? And once we're lined up with that, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit more. There we go. Uh, well, now that we're lined up, we'll just push towards this at probably, I would think, um, you know, I think if you're like one kilometer away, you want like 10 meters per second. At 1.2, I'll probably do 12 meters per second. So let's just a quick burn. Okay. Finish that off. There we go. And here it comes. So we'll warp forward a little bit. Bring it in a little bit closer. And you can see our, our pink uh, and uh, green icons are very, very close together. We're down to within a couple of hundred meters. Right, so we're going to do the same thing again. Oh, within a hundred meters now. Getting very close. And this is the point where you're probably thinking, Aha! Sky! You bonehead, you haven't put any RCS on this, so how on earth are you going to dock with the BISS? And you know what? Let me warp up a little bit, and then I'll give you the answer. There we go, zero. Right, now we are absolutely stationary. So back to, the, uh, back to that question. Sky, you complete bonehead, you've, uh, you've messed up because you haven't got RCS. I need to do this quite quickly because we're running out of daylight. Right, well, th the answer is that this is not going to dock with this. The, that's what the tug is for. So, what we're going to do now is jettison this, uh, this engine module. So, go to here, decouple the node, boom, and get rid of that. And then... Because we've still got the uh, we've still got the, the the computer, we've still got our probe, we've still got our reaction wheel, so I should be able to spin this around. Here we go. 
and I'm going to point that open docking port towards the command module to try and try and make life as easy as possible and I'm going to line it up so that it's pretty much at 90 degrees to that command module or the tug I should say the no mercy rescue tug right so if that is is that looking about right that's looking about right okay now I can switch over to the BISS right and we'll go to this uh, uh, this docking port and we'll undock and then we're going to take our little tug and there is what we're trying to dock with I'm going to set that as my target and we'll spin around now I want this thing lined up so that up and down is what I expect so okay needs to come around 180 degrees I find it easier to do it this way right other people find it easier to do it different ways but I find it easy to do it this way right now I should be able to spin around to point at the docker max okay and then just lift the nose up so that I'm pointing at the uh, at the target and now we're just gonna nudge forward slightly and now the the object is to try and get this uh, lined up at 90 degrees now I've got my lights on so we're going to be lighting the target up as we get closer I'll turn RCS on and, and we'll have a bit of downward thrust we need to get ourselves at 90 degrees to this and I think we just need to get a little bit closer to it so that we can actually see because obviously we are doing this in the dark which is the, like the most difficult way to do this let's get a little bit closer this is coming in pretty nicely let's just lift our nose up a little bit to straighten and we have captured it <laughs> excellent stuff right having captured it and uh, let's check on uh, on our electrical systems that's fine having captured it uh, we can now take it back to the BISS over there here we go so we can now decouple this node to get rid of this robot probe so decouple that and we'll switch back to our tug right we can now spin this around to point at the BSS BISS where is the BISS there it is and we want to come around like this and bring it up right time to go home okay let's slow that down now at this point I want the um, I want the station the other way around I want to connect this to the other uh, the other end of the station so what I'm going to do is flip over to the BISS here we go and then we're going to just turn the station around so that this end is pointing towards the command module I'm going to turn SAS on so that it stays nice and stable and here we go let's turn it around at 90 degrees make it really easy for ourselves there we go then we'll flip back and now we can begin our approach almost there 
Just bring the nose up a touch. And I think, you know, a little push forward and we might just get this. We just want to lift the nose up just a little bit more, I think. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's go for it. Little nudge forward. And if you do this gently, the magnetic grapple, give the magnetic grapple a chance and it'll uh, it'll straighten you out even if you come in at a slight angle like this oh will it will it oh and oh it's trying it's trying let's just push it down a touch and Oh, that is... There we go! <laughs> oh, awesome stuff. Oh, that is awesome sauce. Right, you know what? Let's turn all the lights out, and then let's turn all the lights on, and all of these light up now. Oh, that is pretty sweet look at that guys isn't that a pretty little space station and now we can have a whole ton of stuff going on here oh ho, ho, ho. oh that's looking very nice you know what should we should we see it during the sunlight i think we should let's let's warp this until we get to sunshine sunshine And here we are in the sunlight. Let's turn this around. No, there was one thing I wanted to show you. Do you remember I was talking to you about these um, these panels that open up? And you can see there's... Um, that's kind of difficult to see. But you can see these panels open up, right? And if you have them uh, wrongly aligned, then you get a, uh, a set of doors on one side and then a set of doors on the other side. And it's just so much tidier if you've got them opening on the same side. Now this, uh, for me, where they open, that's the back. So we want to actually turn this around. So let's, let's turn this around. And then all of our solar panels will automatically turn around to face the sun. We want to come up a little bit more, I think. There we go. And ha 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 ha! This I, I love this. I think this is really awesome. Come on, guys, d g come up with some ideas for some for some cool modules. I want designs. I want wild ideas. I can't wait to get the habitat modules all plugged into here. It's gonna look so good. And again, you know, I want another one of these on the other end for um, for fuel. And then I, I want a telecommunications thing and like, I want loads of stuff, I want loads of stuff. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave it there because I'm getting way overexcited. Um, obviously, I can undock the command module and, and redock it somewhere else. But for right now, I think it can sit there quite happily. Oh man, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And I'm going to leave you with a, a nice view of the Bonehead International Space Station. I'll see you for the next one guys. Peace out.